Hi Shao here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Today I'm going to show you how to make these two cards. One using the framelits and one without the framelits. I'm going to use my favourite set at the minute, Snow Place. With the coordinating framelits which are called Snow Friends. Now I've already prepared all my cards. But I will put all the dimensions for these on my blog. I've also had Gary busy with my big shot, making me some, cutting my little bits out, and I've already started another card here. But, but before I start the card, I'm just going to show you how we get a little snowman and how I do cut it out. So I'll just use a little baby one, pop him on there. My black memento, and I would literally just put my little baby on there. And I would find my little baby here. And once you've stamped out all your pieces, you'd just Pop them on your plate, get your framelit, pop it round, move that up a little bit, and we would just run all our pieces through like that. I'm just going to put that away now. And like I say, we'd pop all our pieces out. So now I've got another little snow baby to go in my box. So, first of all, I would get my ink on me. Your A6 Whisper White card. Piece of Tempting Turquoise. And I would just... Oops. Working very well today, is it? Pop that on there. So that's our background piece done. Then for our snowflake, we need our stamp set. And it's this piece here. Let's set my snow baby off. Pop that on there. And Tempting Turquoise again. I find Tempting Turquoise works very well with this set. I'll just ink it up. And then it's just random really. Just pop your snowflakes in the corners. And then I'll just put some extra ones. So that I filled my page. Better cover that up because you know what I'm like. And again, I would get my snout. And just for quickness, you'd take a bit longer actually. If I was, I'd use tape and I'd pop that down there. For my sentiment, I'd pop that there. So I can leave that there. And then I'm going to get my stamp scrub out and clean this stamp up. So quick. And I'll just give my snow baby a wipe. Now, how we Tim snow. No way it's Christmas already. Pop that one out. And I'll just line it up on my grid paper. Tempting turquoise. Little dab. Now a piece of card in. And just pop that down. 
and we'll just lift it away. Yeah, put that away. And for this, I've raised it, so I'm just going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back there. Let's put those on there. Bring my card back in. And pop that on there. And I'm going to bring my my little snow people in. That's what I call them. And I'm going to turn these all over because we're going to put dimensions on these. on each this would be a good card to do with the children I'm sure they'd enjoy doing snow people and I'm going to put my mum or dad snow person up there and then I'm going to put the little, one little one there And a little one here. And for the little hands, I've used glue dots because they're quite tricky, these little hands. I've got too many big hands. This is why it's handy to have your little box with all your little pieces in. And I'm going to just put my glue dot on there. My little hand. And again, a bit tricky this because glue dots just like to stick to you. Same for your little people. Got their little hands. I enjoy making these little snow people. I've had so much fun with this set. It really is one of my favourites. Just one more little pair of hands to go. There we have all our little hands. And now I used a Tombow to stick their little headphones on. Because I found it quite awkward to work out a way to stick them on. just on the inside of their earmuffs Oops. pop those on there then I decided to pop a little tie on here now sometimes the tie is a bit long if you have a look it's a bit long so you're best to just slip a little piece off either end And then we just put a little drop of Tombow on there. And then we can stick the tile. So it's not overhanging your snow person. And then for the hat, I put a dimensional on. So that it would lift it away from the snow person. Just like that. And then I thought the little ones looked quite bare, so I decided to get some basic jewels and 
around I just pop these on I thought three would be sufficient just fills them up nicely right so There's always one that doesn't want to play ball, isn't there? Two. Hopefully when my shoulder gets better I'll be able to do all my big shot work myself instead of having to get Gary to do it for me. But at least Gary's quite happy to do it for me. And then, on our greeting, I just stuck one in each corner. Just to add that bit of bling. And there you have our first little card made using the framelits. So I'm going to pop that one to one side. Now, if you don't have any framelits, don't panic. Because we're going to make this one. And again, the dimensions of the card will be on my blog. Just an A6 basic black card and a piece of Whisper White. And then we're going to get our block and our large snow person. And my black memento again. I'm getting covered in ink here, this could be disastrous. And I like to stick one person just here. And another one at this end. Then my little baby again. And just pop that there. So there we've got our three snow people. The tricky bit is their little hands because they're so small. They're such tiny little pieces. You really... But the good thing with polymer is that you can see exactly where you're going to pop them. So we'll get stamp our little hand and we'll just watch where you're going and just pop that in. And again, you can see through your stamp, pop that down. And again for that one. And for that one. Now we need, I've just got to wipe that clear, because I need my, my tiny little hand now, I'll try to get them fairly, I'm just going to pop that on there, pop that on there, oh, and that's up. So they've all got their hands. We've got their bodies. Now we want to do the hats. So what we're going to do now is we get the top hat for the two big ones. And I can put that away now. I'm going to have a blue one, which is my tempting turquoise. And I'm just going to ink that up. And again, you're going to look through a bit difficult for Gary to pick up but you're basically going to look down onto where your snow person is and just put the hat on the top of his head like so and just need to wipe that and get the red Again, we're going to look for the top of the head and just pop that down. We didn't give the baby one a top hat, we gave them a woolly hat in pumpkin pie. And like I said, I will tell you on my blog 
exactly what I've used so don't be worrying all the inks I've used everything and again just over the little one's head and just pop it down for their noses I've used the Stamping Right markers and I've used pumpkin pie because I find that this is really good for their noses and you just colour their noses in their little carrot noses like so and then we need our sentiment again No way it's not Christmas already, it'll soon be here. I know people that have already started Christmas shopping. And no, I haven't. Not yet. I'm going to pop that down and I'm looking to aim just in the middle here. Like I said, this is the beauty of polymer stamps. You can just see exactly where you're going. There we go. And to finish their bodies off, I decided to use these new enamel goodies that we've got. And I thought that it would be nice to put a white one at the top. For the big ones. And then the green ones. A bit tricky to pick up. Put in the middle of the bodies of the big ones. To come up on your finger, take them on your finger. It's easier. And we're just having two, so one at the top there. One at the bottom. this one when it decides to come up off the paper there we go just down the bottom there so there we've got our nice oh that's a bit crooked that one you can pick it up and move it so now they've got their nice bodies done and what I did with this is I put some dimensionals on the back so that I could lift it away from the page just to give it a bit of depth and then we bring our card in and we're going to stick this just here and then we've got this lovely real red pom pom trim which I think is lovely I've just got to find the end where's the end gone oh I'm just going to snip in there and I won't not be enough for that and with these all I've done is use the glue dot again I've just stuck a glue dot on there pop that on there Just pop a couple of glue dots and there, and there we go. Now I have two cards one without using the foamlets, and one with using the foamlets. Same set, two different outtakes on it. And you'll see lots more of these cards with these snow people because I just love them. Before I go today, I'd just like to mention again for those of you 
that haven't heard already, I'm doing an all day craft event at Woodlands in Doncaster, South Yorkshire on Saturday, October the 10th. You can still book a place. We still have places. So if you'd like to contact me for details on that, I'd love to hear from you. And you can do by contacting me on my Facebook page at Shells Craft Corner. I will, I'd love you to like and click the subscribe button. So next time I upload something, you'll be able to see it. If you'd like a list of all the products I've used today, all the dimensions of my cards, stamp sets, ink, you'll find them on stamping.co.uk and you'll also find them at Shells Craft Corner on Facebook. Thank you for coming along today and see you soon. Bye-bye.